Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24 to September 30th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you guys that this is a general reading for Pisces Star Sign This isn't your personal reading, therefore I will make, um, I will tell you the meanings of the cards I will make the synergy in between them, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, or go for a proper tarot reading, you know, you go for a personal reading, uh, and to do so, all that you need to do is check out my website. <clears throat> there you will find a full list of my services, and as soon as you make a purchase, we are going to schedule an appropriate time for both of us, uh, for your reading. And at this, the end of the summer, there is a, a summer end sale uh, going on, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30-minute service. So we are going to the tarot spread first, and this is a fourth position spread. <clears throat> the first position is about the topic of your Pisces week. The second position is about the core of the Pisces situation. Third position is about the challenges that Pisces needs to overcome. And the last position, it is about the guidance that tarot has to offer. To you Pisces. So let's see what you got here. Now the first card, that will be the Four of Cups. So this is a, a typical card of total inactivity. Rather, uh, it's not really total inactivity guys. You will have an opportunity you know, to amuse yourself for the duration of the week. But for some reason, because we do have the Four of Pentacles, you would rather not want to because uh, you know, the reason for it could be many things. Uh, some of you may not want to risk it. Some of you may be just fulfilled where they are standing right now. Or some of you could be afraid to do so, you know, thinking that uh, they have more to lose than actually gain. But the Four of Cups here, it is... Um, how can I place it? It's a card which points that this week should be the final week in which you are kind of taking a passive stand. Because this card points that whatever achievement you had recently and whatever fame you are enjoying upon right now, they are kind of they are kind of setting down, and soon there will be only remnants of them. That being said, it will be vital here to use this particular week uh, to uh, kind of set up a, a new aims, to set up a new achievements that you have to follow to set up a new goals for yourself, either into your career or either into your relationship, because the Four of Cups is the card of uh, final consumption. So you consume what you have worked for and this is the final stage of it. And in the next week there will be nothing more to consume there won't be any benefits for you from it therefore you have to continue on working upon something new so you can kind of reach a, a new state of uh, consu uh, consumation or consumption I, I don't know which which word to use um, anyway, so uh, Four of Cups could manifest in a couple of ways and I will try to explain you about your career and about your relationship. About your career, this card could this card could manifest that uh, you recently had a good achievement, you know, into your career and everybody applauded you, everybody admired you and this week is uh, is the week where people will start to forgetting about it, you know, the people will start not giving much crap about it as well and they are returning to their usual state where everybody is equal and that's why you have to figure out what new you have to do there to make maintain this position of you being superior to your co-workers. If we're talking about your relationship, this card could signify that recently you had a very good turn into your relationship or you established a relationship with someone or you're dating with someone and it was all right, it was, it was great actually and you were emotionally satisfied but right now this is simply not enough or it will very soon become not enough and you have to do something new in order to lift up again the emotional satisfaction satisfaction there into the relationship so you can uh, you can keep up the emotional connection ticking so this is how the uh, in general how the four of cups manifests as a uh, topic now the next one this is going to be the core of the situation this is the five of uh, the five of wands 
Wow, very peculiar now. There is a, a very little synchrony or synergy in between these couple of cards. The only thing that uh, actually can contribute or can, uh, can result as a Four of Cups from the Five of Wands is that you successfully uh, adopted a certain strategy there uh, which no one else could have pulled through. You took advantage of a certain surprising events all right and you were able to uh, kind of execute in the right moment with the right intentions and actions the certain undertaking which now makes you a, a hero this is the only thing that, that really um, <clears throat> kind of plays out as a synergy in between these couple of cards and uh, uh, as i told you uh, and probably when we look at these cards, probably no one else believed in you. I, I do think that you also had doubt in yourself that you will be able to pull it through, but you but you could and you did. And uh, yeah, right now it's it's very difficult to explain, but right now you know you may feel yourself almighty and probably that's the case but this might needs to be exerted somewhere. It shouldn't stay buried down beneath and within you. So lift up your head should i say and start searching for a new fields for you to conquer now the uh, challenges for you to overcome here this is going to be the knight of swords and that card regards to decision making so you will have to make a, a very swift decision for the duration of the week as as i said <clears throat> the, the five of wands could represent as well surprises and sudden around around turns and as you have managed the crisis in the recent past probably this crisis is not over yet that therefore you know you have to be very acute with your perception with your judgment as well and do uh, and make those decisions with the snap of your fingers <clears throat> Now, what is the key here is that there will be a lack of synergy in between your logic and about your and your emotions. And what I'm trying to say here is, is that let's uh, give you an example. Uh, here is is that your uh, your girlfriend asks you to go somewhere and travel for a day, but in the same time uh, you uh, have a, a very important day at work. So uh, you have to make a decision, split decision here and your logic will tell you 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 gotta go with the work all right but your emotions will tell you you gotta go with uh, the um with with your partner here that is uh, a very difficult and challenging thing to overcome and what this card points is that you need to reach a, a synchrony in between your decisions and uh, and in between your emo in between your logic and in between your emotions if there is a total lack of synergy this means that there is a, a third choice to be taken there and it is up to you to find it but you have to do it fast because this card is very demanding on decision making and it, you will be required to make it in a, in a matter of hours. And the last card here, it is about the guidance that uh, Taro has for you, Pisces. This is the Hierophant card and uh, this card points only a couple of things here. First of all, it points that you need to maintain the good term with everybody which is around you, co-workers, friends and families, uh, uh, your partner into your relationship, um, uh, you know, the common owners as well, etc, etc. Because this card points that you need to rely on the trust that the people have in you and you have in them as well. Uh, this card also points that you should not be um, Well, I don't know the English term for it, but it's kind of like do everything for a profit. Because uh, when we do have the Hierophant, the profit will find you itself. You know, there is a Bulgarian actor that I have watched in an interview with that guy. And he said something very interesting there. They asked him, um, is it profitable to be an actor? And he said, to be an actor is a diagnosis. To be an actor is a, a calling in life. You don't do it for the money. You do it for the acting itself. The money finds you on their own when you do it 
for the purpose of doing it. And this is exactly how you need to react on everything this week. You do it for the purpose of doing it, for the sake of doing it. The benefits will find you on their own accord. If you do it for benefits only, then uh, unfortunately you're going to kind of deprive yourself from even greater benefits, even if you do have a, a, certain, um, a certain small benefits at the end of the undertaking. So that was the tarot reading here and let me um, shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, we are going to check what events, what, what event, excuse me, is going to happen uh, this week, Pisces, that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So the first one, that will be the dog, which sits for loyalty or it sits for friendship. Then the next one, this is going to be the, the gentleman. So uh, this card sit, sits for a, a man. So we have a, a loyal man. That's, wow, we have the lady as well. So that card sits for a woman. So we do have two, two loyal people. I need one more here. That will be the... Um, the mountain that sits for delays, it sits for troubles, it sits for predicaments. So what we do have here is, is the two loyal friends of yours, which are male and a female, are going to have a dispute in between them that is going to cause you a, a predicament. And now if we go back to the tarot reading, a very practical interpretation is that you are going to be very annoyed and not knowing what to do with the dispute of these people. That will be the reason, therefore, you have to make a side here, make a decision which one with the logic will tell you one thing, the uh, emotions are going to tell you the other and what you have to do in reality with the Hierophant card is that you have to go for the one that you have more trust in. So that being said Pisces, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again bear in mind that this is a general reading for the star sign of Pisces. This is not your personal reading therefore I have gave you the um, meanings of the cards, their synergy uh, but it falls to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you then uh, you go for a personal reading which uh, you can purchase at my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!